In this video, we will use the Gaussian distribution fit of our data and our data doesn't seem to be pretty much symmetric because here it is increasing is like a Gaussian fit but here it is falling very quickly. So to fit this data, I will go to let me increase this one and then I will go to the fitting and from the fitting non-linear fit and I will open the dialog and it has opened the dialog. Now I will select my function and let's say I select a function the Gaussian fit which is the Gaussian imp and now the fit is over here it is good but here it is not good in here also not good so i will just click the iteration now it is improving and i will just click fit until converge now as i do a fit until converge then i can see that the fit is good but not very good because here the central point is here while the central point of it is here so it is not a good fit at least the central point means the two peaks the fit peak and the data peak should be coinciding with each other but is in this distribution it is not good if i select ok then i can see from the parameters that the fitting is not good because the fitting is the r square value is 0.91 so how i will improve such a fit and this fit can be improved by uh, doing some editing in it and the editing will be i will keep this fit and i will fit it again and then i will do some changes in that fit so let me first see that what is the center value here and from the data reader if I click here then I can see that the center value the x value here is actually 12.413 so I will restrict my Gaussian fit not to change from here so 12.4 will be my focus let me go to fitting and then the non-linear fit and open dialog and here i select the gaussian m and it has shown here the preview and if i select this one and just fit this one then it is just overlapping that one and I can do fit until converge now the fit didn't converge because it is a poor data or mm, the fit is not very good so what I do I just come here and let me select here let me select here a Gaussian so that it is to differentiate with this one and one and then another and it will also overlap on that one so now what can i do i will have to restrict my plot and for that i will have to go to the parameters and here the center of it is actually at 11.54 so i will fix this one I will fix this one and I will give it 12.4 and now I can do iteration and this one is now exactly a 12.4 I can do the fit until converge so it has converged here and the fit is like this I can have a look at it that the second fit that I did with the Gaussian or the Gaussian aim is not very really good because uh, compared to that one it is now 0.85 
so it is not a very good fit although we have we have changed the center of it let me change this one that this is our second fit in which we have uh, changed our saying give it a different color and the width of it three okay this was our earlier fit in which the center of the curve was shifting this way and this is the um, present fit in which we are having the center exactly coinciding with the center here so we can do such a detail but we will have to decide at the end that which fitting is better for us so let me delete this table and now I can go to analysis and then fitting and here I do a non-linear fit again and in the origin function I select the Gaussian name and now I go to the parameters and inside these parameter instead of fixing the value let me give it some bounds and the bounds are that let's say i select a lower bound or upper bound for this one i know that the value it likes it keeps the fit is centered at 11.54 while the value that i want is to be 12.4 so I will have to define here first the less than or equal to and here I give the value and the value is that it is 11.5 the center should be greater uh, than this value xc should be greater than this value and xc should be less than let's say 12.5 Five should be less than this one now I know that the inclination of the fitting is that it is shifting towards the lower values so I will try to just compromise between the two and I just fit this one with another iteration and it is exactly falling over the blue one so I will have to change this one a little bit and let's say I select here instead of 11.5 I give it 11.7 so now I fit this one now you can see that the red one has shifted a little bit in this direction and I say fit until converge and it has converged similarly I can move this one to 12 and I will check that how this value is changing now I have shifted it to 12 and I do fit until converge so this one means I will have to check again and again which fitting will be better and if I keep it at 12 because the average if I calculate of 11.5 plus 12.4 is equal to this and I divide by 2 then it is 11.95 so 12 it is approximately 12 so I will keep it at 12 because it is it is trying to go to the lower value so better to keep it at 12 and I say ok and now it is having the value and if I look at the value here then it is 0 0.95 0 0.95 is comparatively a better value when I will round it up it will become 0 0.96 now let's go to the this one let me select this one and give it a different color and let's say I give it a yellow color so now this one the yellow color is our third attempt in it is 0.96 approximately let me go to the other values 
in the very first bit we got the value is equal 0.91 then in the second fit we got the value by restricting its uh, center and we got 0.86 and by our third attempt we got its value is 0.96 and this value is acceptable so inside a given fit we can do some changes and we can improve our fit so between this one and this one this fit when we restrict a value when we iterated the value in a given range we improved the quality of the fit thank you for watching